in this edition of It's Night Time. We visit one of VKB's top farms in the Eastern Free State. Riza and Riley takes us through Bloemfontein. It's Night Time. As main sponsor of the night, VKB decided that it was time that the players experience firsthand exactly what they provide to the agricultural industry by taking them to one of the top farms in the VKB store. But some of the players forgot that farm life means getting up early, very early. What they don't actually say is actually half past four in the morning, so please do excuse us. The team spent a luxurious night at the Lion Trunk Big Pack Sanctuary, but it was off to the farm Loskop, situated in the picturesque Eastern Free State near Clarence and Bethlehem. Focusing on cattle farming, the main operations being dairy, the team was shown the day-to-day -day operation of the dairy farm and, of course, the milking process. Not all the guys appreciating the fresh farm smells in the morning. Although the milking operations at this scale is done by machines, the guys had to try their hand at milking. Shadley finding the going a bit tough, not getting the results he expected. It's not as easy as it looks. Now that's how it's done. Bite seems to get the hang of things quite quickly. And after all the milking was done, you have to at least taste the product. Fresh milk these guys will not get anywhere else. <laughs> so Pipe VKB has done a great day for us. Um, fortunately we've been there to that at the milk cows. Please tell us your experience of doing it. Well, I had a great experience uh, firstly. Um, I did uh, 500 mils a minute and Shadow was my competition. He did 300 mils in his minute. So yeah, we had a good day. Uh, relieved some cows with some pressure. It was awesome. It's a lot tougher than you think though. Yeah. Tasted some of the milk as well and it was... Uh, Straight out of it, <laughs> nothing <laughs> else. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't yeah, too bad yet. Yeah, a good experience. With mainstream cattle farming, the successful production of offspring is not always left to nature. The play is being given a live artificial insemination demonstration. I'm sure they are wondering if the cow is at least going to get some flowers after this. With the countrywide drought gripping the nation, keeping the herd in top milk production form requires stock feed, with all the ins and outs explained to the players. Farm life is most definitely not for the faint-hearted, so VKB was never far away providing the guys with a light lunch. After the meal, the players visited one of the local farm schools, sharing their cricket expertise with the young ones and just enjoying some schoolyard cricket again. A fantastic experience for the kids playing with the pros. I'm sure some notes were made looking at some of the hidden talents. Even some of the girls showing some talent. Mata, 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 mata. 
Both school kids and players enjoyed the day at the farm school with some handy coaching tips. The VKB Knights handing out some lunch bags with great surprises inside. It was back to business after the fun and games and some impressive farming implements and machinery was displayed to the team. Some of the guys getting a crash course in working with these impressive machines. Not your average town vehicle. So uh, Rudy, you did a bit of milking today, milk the cow. I just want to know, have you learned anything how to treat the lady today? <laughs> Soft hands, key, soft, soft hands, hands and, okay. and just be patient with it, take good, your time. Yeah. And have you seen any plow spaces here running around here in Bethlehem? No, I haven't, I, I haven't, uh, but I'm going to take one of these tractors off the farm and drive around in time. I'll so. tell you what, you'll pick up a few girls with a tractor. With a John Deere, you never know. <laughs> I'm Dirk Fulion, I'm farming the Clarence area with my brother. We're farming with dairy, uh, beef, and cash crops. The cash crops consist of dry beans, maize and wheat, and soybeans. And we are proud members of VKB, our agricultural business. And uh, we want to congratulate VKB in the sponsorship with the Knights and bring him out today to the farm. And uh, it, it, is, it, it is a privilege for us to accommodate the people and show them our farming is done in the Eastern Free State and we also appreciate the manner they came to us and visited the little farm school and you couldn't believe the faces of the little kids receiving a little present from the Knights and I can ensure you from now on these kids are going to play cricket. Hi, I'm Rudy Second, batter keeper for the VKB Knights and we really look forward to seeing you at the home games this year. With big international cricket on the way to Bloom, Riley Rousseau and Riza Hendricks decided to show off their hometown. Hi, um, welcome to Mangahung Oval Cricket Ground where uh, we are very excited to be hosting the first uh, Momentum One Day International between South Africa and England. We're looking forward to seeing you guys there, so come out and, sh and show your support on the 3rd of February 2016. Mangahung Oval is the third biggest field in the, in the world as well as the first biggest field in South Africa. But we still wait, it's not all about cricket. Let's go see what else Bloom has to offer. Let's go. Olivenais in Bloemfontein, illustrious presidential residence in the past, refurbished as an art gallery, showcases some of the foremost artists in South Africa. From photography, sculptures and paintings can be seen in various exhibitions. Hi, the first stop on our journey today is a lovely art museum here at uh, Olivenais. I'm standing today with uh, Esther. Can you please tell us a bit more about Olivenais? Yes, Olivenais was first built in 1945 and it served as a home for the Governor General and his wife. Then in 1961 when we became a republic, the state presidents used to stay over here when they visited when they visit Bloemfontein. Then in 1989 it became an art museum and all the necessary changes was made to accommodate art. That's wonderful. Uh, I know my wife had a kitchen tea here. Is there anything else at the venue office? Yes, the restaurant does all kinds of functions, kitchen teas, weddings. The reservoir is also a very popular spot for weddings. It actually used to be an actual re reservoir. Um, and then it's lovely to come and see the art, walk through the garden. We've got a fantastic African carousel that's working that the kids can take a ride on. And the entrance is free, so everyone's welcome. Second stop, the National Museum. Riley, yeah, I am. And second on the list, I'm here at the National Museum in Bloemfontein. And with me, I'm standing with Rick. So Rick, will you just tell us more about the National Museum? Yeah, sure, Riza. Um, the National Museum, where we are here, uh, was founded in 1877. And uh, we're now standing in one of our exhibition halls, which looks particularly at the history of Bloemfontein, uh, dating back to 1846. So the museum uh, started uh, not long after Bloemfontein itself was founded. And um, uh, we have in our museum many different displays, 
on the history of the area, uh, what Bloemfontein looked like in those early years. We've got wonderful models of, uh, of, the, of the, 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 the small town as it was then. Um, and then we also have some, some, some really nice displays and exhibits of uh, what life would have been like, what the place would have looked like in, in later years, around 1900 and, and, and places and times like that. The National Museum is a very diverse institution here in Bloemfontein. Um, its, uh, it's, it's, it's focus is on cultural history, um, but also on, on the natural sciences. So we've got a lot of animals uh, on display and interesting things about different groups of animals, different types of animals. Rick, thanks for showing us around. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Great. Right. No, it's been, been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks, Riley, let's go see some local sporting heroes. It's fantastic. Good. Let's go. Cheers. Yeah. Wow, is this Nicky Bouyer and Alan Donald, our current coaches? So I wonder how old you must be to be in a museum. Definitely giving away their age. Good on you, mate. <laughs> and lastly, a quick visit to Naval Hill. Naval Hill in the middle of the country? Hi guys, we're at Naval Hill, which is well known for its history, as well as the Franklin Game Reserve, which is in the heart of the city. A great landmark in Bloemfontein is the statue of Nelson Mandela, which is the largest bronze statue of our South African hero in the world. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us on our tour through Bloemfontein. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys on the 3rd of February when South Africa take on England at the Mangahum Oval. Hi, I'm Tumi Masekela, bowler of the VKB Knights. Come down, join us at the stadium for a couple of Twizzer drinks and let us entertain you. That's it for this edition of It's Night Time. Join us again next time for a behind the scenes look at the lives of the VKB Knights. Don't forget to get your tickets for the One Day International between the Proteas and England at the Mangung Oval on the 3rd of February.